Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Morning Brews. My name, of course, is Ryan Smeltz, and today we are talking about thanking your prior clients. So I am pretty excited about this episode uh, because if you couldn't tell uh, from yesterday's episode, um, I didn't have a lot to talk about as it relates to instincts, but I have plenty to talk about as it relates to thanking your prior clients and your customers. So I have three bullet points after the job on a regular basis and why, and that is going to be one of my favorite bullet points. Uh, so one, after the job, um, so just put yourself in the customer's shoes for a minute. We have all been there where we order something or we use a company for a service and then we get a card in the mail or a gift card, or we get a sticker with our order. So you order the coffee and you didn't order a sticker, but you get a sticker anyways. You get a handwritten note in the box. Uh, the sticker and the handwritten note were both from Soldier Girl Coffee Company, one of our sponsors, actually. Uh, so you can find the link to that coffee in the description. And when you place your order, you will get a note uh, and or a sticker as well um, as a little thank you. And it's one of those things that just kind of makes you feel special. And that's what brings people back. Because in the end, if you order something from Amazon or you go to Walmart and you purchase something off the shelf, you don't necessarily get that hospitality, that thank you, that little bit extra, whatever the case may be. Uh, so making sure that you offer that little bit extra after you do the job, after you ship the order out, after someone makes a purchase with you, you thank them. And then I put on a regular basis because I actually uh, have an insurance policy with someone and they send out Christmas cards every single year. Um, I am sure that if I did cancel or move my policy uh, to another company that I would stop getting those Christmas cards. But ever since I have been with that company, uh, I have gotten a Christmas card from the person who does my paperwork from the guy who is in charge of my account with them. It's just one of those nice things. So uh, keep that in mind. That's also an opportunity for you to offer specials and or promotions, discounts, whatever the case may be. So if you have something like that available, like 10% off for returning customers, then the card that you send out after the job or on a regular basis is a great opportunity for you to include something like that and help get return customers. But most importantly, to just thank them for being a customer and thank them for being a client in the first place. Another um, period when you may want to send out thank you cards. And I think you kind of see that in the title. Thank your prior clients <coughs> is when, uh, it's, it's been a while. So maybe three months, six months, one year after, uh, someone was your customer or your client. Uh, you send that out because saying thank you is always very important as mom taught us. And uh, in you sending that out, you could rekindle a relationship uh, that maybe uh, they haven't needed your goods or services for some time. Maybe they went to a different company. Maybe they went to a different company and they're not having the greatest time. And you sending out that card reminds them that uh, their experience with you was pretty good overall. And the grass isn't necessarily greener. And now they're saying, you know what, I should probably head back to them because 
they sent me this card and my experience overall was better than it is now. So I need to make another change and go back to the way I was doing things. You never know what the situation might be. Maybe uh, they lost your contact information. You know, those old school people who don't use the internet and, um, you know, they rely on magnets and business cards and they no longer had it. And they, they get that card in the mail and it's got your phone number on it. Next thing you know, they're calling. Uh, so the last bullet point I have up here is why I kind of already talked a little bit about why. And I think the most important thing to take away from this is thank you, because that's what you're supposed to do. Because without those customers and clients, you would not be in business. And so you owe your business and uh, some gratitude uh, in their direction. So it's it's good to be thankful. It's good to show gratitude. It's it's really good to do because other companies aren't doing it overall. Once again, I hope you have gained something from this. I hope you learn something new or get a new idea from listening to Morning Brews. If you do, be sure to leave us a five-star review. We've got the Business and Brew Show coming up on Monday with Nick of the security company out of Florida. That was a fantastic interview. Be sure to check that out on Monday at 11 a.m. And make sure to subscribe to the show wherever you listen to podcasts. Most importantly, tell your friends to subscribe as well. My name is Ryan Smeltz, and I will see you on the next episode of Morning Brews.